Besides the ability, well, what is important is the policyholder surplus indicates how the company handles your claim. Okay, so when you have a large claim, let's be honest, water claims are a dime a dozen, but when you have a large claim, you have a fire, we just had one the other day about, it's gonna be about 1.2 million. We've had a couple that have been in, you know, 900,000. In fact, one week I had one at 1.2 and one at 900,000. I said, I'm done, there are no more claims allowed this week. Okay, it gets to be amazing how fast a fire can destroy a building, especially wood frame, and cause structural problems to the point where maybe it's only three or four units out of six or eight or 10 that are damaged, but that's, you may have to take down the building. Okay, and that's what we're having with this one. We're thinking we're gonna have to destroy the building, knock it down, start all over, even though it's only, not even half of it is destroyed. But when things are built from the old, old days, and let's be honest, condos were starting to be built in the 60s, 70s were rampant, but in the 60s, something that was built in the 60s that gets destroyed half of it or less half of it today, maybe we can't save the other half because the codes have changed so. I mean, there are still some single wall condos around and that's always a problem because everything's supposed to be double wall now. And so there's, there's many issues. And it's not just one unit burnt, we've got lots of money for that, it's how is it affecting the rest of it? Does the whole roof have to come off the whole complex, especially for wood frame? Something like Marco Polo, many floors, many people having to deal with a claim that maybe they were even, not even touched by it, but still had to move out. So you wanna make sure your company has adequate assets. And you wanna make sure that your company handles your claims well. If they don't handle your everyday claims, they're not gonna handle your big claims. Right now, there are four condos suing to get their money for a claim. Now that's not a good sign. What condos already want after two years, spending over $100,000 on law fees out of their owner's maintenance fees, they won. Okay, and they're gonna get back their maintenance fees, and I mean their law fees, and they're gonna win their judgment, and it's gonna be paid. But you gotta ask, why, why was that? Why did they have to sue somebody? Why didn't the insurance company just handle it? I have a complex I now have picked up that has a street separating one side from the other. I insured one side, somebody else insured this side. Same wind knocks off the roofs of these complexes to you know the windstorms we've been having. We paid over a little million dollars to fix the roofs on one side, the other side didn't pay. They said it was wear and tear, your roofs were old, but there was wind damage, but we're not covering it because it's wear and tear. Now that side is now suing their carrier. Okay, that's what you don't want to get yourself into because it only adds more grief to you. Imagine having to go to your association and say, well, this claim is not covered, so we're giving everybody a plastic tarp. We're going to have somebody come out and put it over your roof. And while we're doing that, we're going to try and contact an attorney, and we're going to go ahead and sue the company. Well, it's going to be years, okay? And it means, ladies and gentlemen, we need to have more money to file, fund this lawsuit because no insurance policy you buy pays you to go sue somebody, okay? It only covers you, your directors and officers, if you're sued, okay? But if the board decides they have to sue somebody, it's not covered. Maintenance fees have to pay law fees. And no attorney is gonna sit and wait two years and say, well, I'll take this all out of pocket because we don't know how it's gonna go. He's going to expect to be paid for his time. And that's coming out of maintenance fees. So it's really important that you look at the carrier that you are selecting, that you ask about their claim service, okay? I have many a client that would say, well, you know, your first insurance, we, how is that company? I say, oh, Marco Polo. They say, oh, okay, no problem. Because we know they're gonna pay their claims. We know they have quality reinsurance. When a company buys their reinsurance from themselves, you have to question that. So if I'm a Korean company and I buy my reinsurance from my company called Korea Re, and it's me, really? Well, now, do we have the financial wherewithal to be with a company like that? I don't know, I don't think so. And if I wanna sue that company, I have to go to Korea. Now, am I gonna be doing that and hiring somebody? So you'll hear that they are, are all of our companies except Lexington are part of and Lloyd's. Lexington and Lloyd's are not part of the guarantee fund. And you will hear, well, the, the guarantee, there's a guarantee fund, the guarantee these companies. The guarantee fund is a max of $300,000. 
not per unit, not per owner, per named insured, AOAO, Association of Unit Owners or Apartment Owners, $300,000. That's the max if a company goes under that you can get from all the other insurance companies and all of the owners paying back, okay? $300,000, it's not enough for anybody in Condoland. So if somebody says, oh, well, they're part of the guarantee fund, don't worry, worry, that's not enough. 300,000 is nothing when you have a huge fire, okay? So you wanna make sure your carrier is there for you. You wanna make sure that your claims, are, they respond timely to them. First insurance, I give Tom Roselli, he's gonna be speaking at CAI's June meeting. He was there as the firemen were there putting out the fire. He spent, they gave him an office at Marco Polo so he could be there every day. His children are not allowed to play the game in the pool Marco Polo. He never wants to hear those words again. <laughs> they are forbidden. His youngest son asked his older brother, does dad still live here? Because he was at the Marco Polo so much. That's the kind of service you're looking for. Could he make everybody happy at Marco Polo? Hell no. Many people didn't have enough limits. It's not the insurance company's fault that somebody doesn't buy enough limits because we know it's never gonna happen to me, so I buy just the cheapest. But what we need to understand is that there's only so much that an insurance company can do, but you need them to be there for you. So they have to respond timely to your claim. You have to commit, they have to commit to finding a way to cover your claim, not looking for ways to not cover it. You want the named insurer to get used you have to sue. You don't want to have to be the one that sues, and you want your claims paid properly. Thank you.